What's up everyone, get ready to learn how to use gesture control and computer vision to play video games. We'll start by looking at hand tracking and then we'll use the hand landmarks to give input to your computer. This project is part of a computer vision playlist, so feel free to take a look at that at the end and subscribe if you want to learn more. Now let's jump into the code. The first thing to do is to import these libraries. The first one, the OpenCV, is used to capture the image and the frame from the webcam or the camera that you will be using. The second one, the PyAutoGui, will be used to give input to our game or to the computer. And the MediaPipe is a library that contains the models that recognize the hand gestures and time will be used for a simple thing further in the code. Now to start, we need to initialize the video capture with the OpenCV and for that In this case, we'll be using zero because it is the only camera that I have in the computer. So this is an index of cameras available. And as I only have one, I will use the index zero. If you have more than one, you can try one or two here. Next, we need to initialize the media pipe and pose model. So the model that will capture the end poses that will be seen in the video. In the class of the media pipe hands, we have a couple of parameters and you can try other values and test what happens, but at least these values will work fine in our project. Next, we'll create a drawing utility object that will be useful further when we are drawing the hand landmarks in the frame. Next, we need to create a continuous loop. In this loop, we'll read every frame and we will process the frames with the media pipe to recognize our end gestures. And with every recognition and every iteration, we'll give input to the computer or not, based on the end pose that we have. And we start by reading each frame from the cap. Next, we'll grab each frame and convert it to RGB because it is required by the media pipe library. And after doing this conversion to RGB, we can process the frame with the media pipe. Now we'll check if there is multi-hand landmarks in these results. So basically we'll be checking if there is any recognition of gestures in that result. This is in that image or in that frame. And if there is multi-hand landmarks in these results, we will process each one of them. And what are we going to do next is to draw these hand landmarks into the frame using this MP drawing. Well, here we should add an S for hand landmarks and hand landmarks. Here we are grabbing the frame to draw the hand landmarks and the end connections from the MP hands into the frame. And we can test this out. So let's close this loop and let's use OpenCV to display these frames on the computer. Here, to break the loop, we should write the following comment. And finally, we can release the video capture or close the video capture and the window. So it seems that our code is working perfectly because we are seeing the hand landmarks and the hand landmarks connections in the frame. This means that the frames are being read correctly and we can move forward to the next step. For the purpose of this video, as we will be playing the Dino game in the Chrome tab, we will give as input the jump every time we open the hand. If we close the hand, we won't do anything. So any other gesture than a closed hand will give the input to jump. So let's say that the closed hand will do nothing while the open hand will jump. Let's go into that. So the next step we have is to define the fingers tips and we'll get the four, the thumb tip, the eight, the index finger tip, the 12, the middle finger tip, the 16, the ring finger tip, and the 20, the pinky tip. And we'll calculate the 
y coordinates of each one of these fingers to define further if the hand is closed or not. Now that we defined the values for the fingertips, we can use that to define if the end will be closed or not. Now we define an if condition to give the inputs to our game. And the condition is, if the end is closed, we don't do anything. Otherwise, for example, open, will give the inputs to jump. And for that, let's write. So as we need to press space to jump, we'll give the input with pi out of e space. And we also give a little bit of time slip here because we don't want to spam the space key. Another interesting thing that you can do is to print the values of the fingertips. And for that, you can use the following code to give that text into the OpenCV. And with this put text, we'll give to the frame a string with the value of the finger Y coordinates. Now let's have some fun and play the game with gesture recognition. So it seems we have a bug here, sorry for that, but it should be this feature. Let's correct this in the other ones. Well, and it seems we have our code working perfectly, but we should be careful because we don't want to spam the space key here. We need to open the game and select the game. Now here we are ready to play the game. Let's go. As you can see, this is working perfectly. You can jump over the obstacles and play the game in the funny way, very funny. Let's test it until I, I die. You should be careful with one thing. E it is this. Since we are processing every frame, you should see a little bit of delay in the FPS. Just like you are seeing a little bit of delay between the image in the video and my voice. If you want to practice more, you should write something like a lock to the hand gesture. Because if you do anything else with the hand, it will automatically press the space key. So guys, thanks for watching and if I if I beat my record, you have to subscribe the channel. So if I beat present So if I beat 386, no more tries, I need to try this one. You have to subscribe the channel. Do we have a deal? Do we have a deal or not? Let's see. Uh, I need, I need, I need, I need. Done. So. Done. If, we, if you are still watching, you have to subscribe the channel because I just passed my previous record. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.